Something I wanted to throw in at the beginning of this video. Uh, now is a great time to reboot Maz. Now that you've made all these changes uh, to the suitors and either wake, go ahead, reboot it, let it come back up, and then we'll proceed. Thanks. Welcome back. This is the fifth video in our Maz OpenStack install on hardware in your basement. Uh, in this video, we're going to enlist nodes to Maz because that's kind of the next step in our install. Uh, I'm going to show you to make how to make sure that you're you can pixie boot uh, in the BIOS and wake on LAN is set up in the BIOS just to give you an idea of what to look for. Uh, I wanted to show you first though there are no nodes if you just if you go straight into the Maz GUI there's no nodes defined. Uh, in the node list there's no nodes so we're gonna boot each one of our nodes uh, and then they will collect here and we'll as we as they boot we'll uh, edit them and uh, enter our wake on LAN and and all that good stuff so I'm gonna go now and splice in the console video and show you guys how to look for all this stuff and uh, what to look for uh, back in a second and unfortunately we're back to the console again but I wanted to show you guys um, how to configure pixie boot and to make sure that your BIOS and your hardware has wake on LAN and really the only way to do this is to, to record the console show it boot up and show you how to get into the BIOS and, and configure things so this is one of our Maz nodes that we're going that we're going to do this demo with um, it's not the Maz server, it's just a blank Maz node, and I'll explain that more later. Uh, it's a Dell Optilex 780, just a cheap, uh, you know, inexpensive old PC. Uh, let's boot it up and get into the BIOS and take a look at things. Uh, on the Dells, uh, you hit F12 to do pretty much everything in the BIOS, so we'll just grab F12, go into the boot menu. And let's go down to System Setup. Okay, so we need to check a few things. Uh, biggest part is boot sequence. Uh, you can see over here that we have configured all of these different boot devices but I have run onboard network controller all the way to the top because I always want these machines to pixie boot uh, some machines I have found that you need to disable all the other boot devices uh, or it'll try to switch around on you uh, this one it doesn't seem to have a problem he goes into pixie boot every time just as long as your onboard network controller is uh, number one he doesn't seem to have an issue with it uh, just for fun uh, if you've made any you know changes or you can check your drives also since these are servers uh, that you know you can list the drives and make sure you have them all enabled since these are servers you can go through here and shut down your audio and you know all the stuff that you don't need uh, this is the other important part about pixie boot you need to make sure the integrated NIC on these boxes are enabled with PXE with pixie uh, that will allow the pixie ROM to function on that card and allow it to boot to bring the uh, to bring the server up to, to boot from the network card so make sure they're enabled with pixie Uh, again, you can go through here and kill some of these devices. I'm not real worried about them, but it might get you a little more performance. Another good thing to point out is these things are go these nodes are going to be running virtual machines, and they have to have Intel virtualized technology uh, to be able to do 64-bit virtual machines. Uh, there's specific chipsets and families that have this and there's not very many of them. 
Uh, I'll go over this on the website, and we'll, we'll talk about it a little more in later videos. But just remember, not all of these have this, and you need to have it enabled in the BIOS, because most of the time it is not. Let's take a look at power management. This is our, the wake on LAN portion. Somewhere down in here, they're going to have remote wake up. Uh, and the, sometimes they'll give you options like this. You, you can disable, enable, or enable with boot to Nick. I just enable it. So whatever he wants to do, he's allowed to be woke up uh, from anything. Uh, from USB, from the LAN, whatever. I just want him to wake up automatically. Uh, so make sure remote wake up is enabled. If you have remote wake up uh, via Pixie, via LAN, just make sure it's enabled so that we can wake him up with the LAN. So that's it. Uh, if you made any changes, uh, don't forget to save them before you exit. And just exit. Now, NAS is set up. NAS has no nodes in it. So this machine has been configured as Pixie Boot. I am going to exit out of here. The machine is going to spin up and it's going to boot from our MAS server via Pixie. It's going to grab a boot image and he's going to register with the MAS server. And you'll see that here. And now he's already contacted Maz via the, the LAN, and he's spinning up an instance, and he's getting installed. The initial um, Pixie Boot to make Maz aware uh, isn't very long. It doesn't take very long at all, depending on your hardware. You can see that he's using ETH1. See, he tells you what... Uh, dynamic IP range that he assigned him. He's enlisted him. Now he's going to power him down. And Maz will be waiting uh, with one node uh, ready to commission. Okay, he just powered him off. Now, Maz has one node. Uh, I will stop this video and we'll continue it from the console. Okay, now we're back to the console and our Maz node has Pixie booted and he has done a handshake with Maz and we have one Maz node that's never been seen before. So let's go to nodes and take a look at it. So Maz assigns him this crazy name and let's go take a look at him. Uh, he's given us a, an error that says hey we don't know how to power this node on. Uh, we All we really know from what we did is we gave him a dynamic IP and we know uh, what the MAC addresses for his Ethernet cards are. This, this box has two cards in it but uh, this is the one that he did the handshake for Pixie Boot. You can see that because he connected to Maz ETH1. So let's copy that. Uh, we need to set up the power for this guy. So let's edit this node and change this crazy name to something you can remember. Uh, these are Dell 780s, like I said before. So this is node 1, uh, and I'm just going to put in 780 because I can remember which box that is and I've, I've marked them one through whatever so I can know just whatever it takes to help you remember uh, I shouldn't have got out of that but anyway edit note again uh, 780 and we need to set the power type and last video we talked about either wake wake on land these are all wake on land boxes and they should be set up from the BIOS to wake on land we want to put in the MAC address of 
the interface card that ETH1 did the handshake with. So that's very important to make sure you have it on the right Nick, uh, or he will not wake him up. So he's good. We put that in there. Let's save it. And he's in a status of new. Nothing else really needs to be done. Uh, he is still, let's go to the node list. His name's good. Uh, he still doesn't know much about him because he we've just done the initial pixie handshake. I have five more nodes that I need to do like this. And when you're doing nodes, I recommend doing them one at a time so that when they come in, you know which one you're talking to, which one that you've hand handshaked with. You can rename them to something you know so you can track that node a lot easier. So that's it for this video. I'm going to go uh, boot all these up, get them ready to go, and get them in this condition. And then on the next video, we will commission them. And that's when things start to get really interesting. So I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.